eBay to set this up in your store without you knowing. And we're gonna tell you how to shut this down. Hi everyone, we're back with another video for you. My name's Faye and this is Simon. Is that really you? It is me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're back, I'm back properly. And we are full-time resellers selling on eBay and Amazon. We're here to show you what's sold, but more importantly, we have got a big thing that we've sort of discovered that's got to be affecting everyone in the reselling world on eBay. But first, over to us in the barn. I think we'll do the Etsy sale first. So Crate, okay. four, crate 14, please. Crate 14 is, yes. Pink cup and saucer. It's a vintage Grafton cup and saucer. Pink with gold trim and a floral interior. Is that a one? Yeah, it costs four pounds, sold for 19.99. And that sold within a month. And we've got Crate. Where have you gone? Here I am. Crate one. Yep. This is a Duchess Ascot breakfast cup and saucer. White with gold trim. One cup and saucer? Yes. Not a trio. No. It's a bit precarious in here. Is it? Ascot, yes. Yes, Duchess. Duchess. Ascot. That costs 25p. That sold within two months for £13. <laughs> Then we have got, I'm assuming it's in a box because it's a 21 piece t set. <laughs> um, vintage cold cloth fragrance. Yes, I put them. Is it one of these? Minton, Dalton. No. Oh, this one? No. 21 piece. We can't lose a 21 piece. <laughs> no. Well, it's not going to be in one of these boxes because they're way too small. I'm just saying it's not in there. When did it, uh, oh, it's, hang on a minute. What? What is this? I reckon I've labeled that wrong. I think it's in here. Is it a Minton tea set? No. Just send it out like that. Yeah, I'll just throw that in a bag. That'll be fine. There it is. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Failed. I did. So that's a 21 piece set. So that is um, teacup, sauces, milk jug. A sugar bowl and side plate, and that cost four pound and three p, and sold within a week for forty nine ninety nine. Oh, I look forward to that one. Yeah. <laughs> then we've got crate one. Yeah. Uh, vintage Shelley fruit garland side plate, six of them. I've had these ages. They've got like fruit on the side. Yeah, because they're called fruit garland. I did just say that. Huh? Nothing. Why didn't I listen? No, I said I did just say that. <laughs> It's hard to remember everything when I'm like, oh, I'm looking for side plates, I'm looking for Shelly side plates. So these? Yes, they've been listed for seven months. They were a pound and sold for twelve ninety nine plus post, which I was quite surprised with as they were Shelly. Mm. Never mind. Uh, next up we have, I guess it might be in tops, M. What is it? Oh no, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's in M, which is here. It's a Max Mara blazer. Oh yeah. Now I did send the link of this to Shopping with Sophie. So why have I got so many views, so many watches on this and the other, on eBay and on the other site, and it's just not selling? It was up for thirty nine ninety nine. Reduced the price to twenty nine ninety nine, and Sophie said it's she's in the same boat. It's because it's a, like a small size. This is a size ten. Um, it cost four pounds, listed and sold within a month for twenty nine ninety nine. In the end, and the customer actually first took an offer from you of twenty six ninety nine, oh, yeah. and then immediately asked to cancel because they realised we had a fifteen percent coupon, and that fifteen percent coupon was going to save them fifty p. Mm. So we had to cancel it, relist it, put it back in the promotion. Oh yeah, and it sold for twenty five forty nine. Sorry, mm. yeah, crate seventeen. Yeah. This is the Vintage Anchor Hocking Deviled Eggs Plate. Ooh. That is, yep, it's the other side of that. You picked this up, didn't you? Yes, I was let loose in charity shops on my own without Faye picking up breakables. Uh, this was one of the last, in fact, it was the last shop I went in and there was a sign that said all bric-a-brac was 50p. And I picked up that and I also picked up that. Uh, which hasn't sold um, just on a complete 
complete pump really and came back showed Faye you oh. thought it was an olive oil plate well, you I thought the little plate. indentations are for olive oil but it's a deviled egg so like, how many holes is it the 12 so, yeah, so it's for six so be like six 12 people sitting around <laughs> eating bread and olive oil <laughs> <laughs> crouched around like no double dipping. I've got that that cost 5p, but I missed the zero off. Yeah, it cost 50p. 50p. Yeah, that screwed my figures. Yeah, and it sold for 19.99, and that sold within a month. Then we've got a dress, just to mix things up. I haven't been in this tub for a while. There it is. It's a Joe Brown's dress. It's purple and blue and red. No. It's a printed button up dress plus size 20. Let me just double check. No, it is that one thing. It's not purple, it's my eyes. Are you sure? It's that yeah. one in your right hand. Yeah. This cost six pounds and sold within three months for 15. Won't be picking that up again. But I mean, the likelihood of you coming across this dress again. Well, that Probably style of slim. dress, I've still got another I one. I feel like. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's lots of people that sell Joe Browns and all that, but it's, I feel like there's like a pattern where you see dresses in our inventory where we spent six pounds and they're just, and you can't get 20 quid for them and just, therefore there's just no point. Mm. I know it's not always like that, but. No, you learn, I don't mean, you? the fact that we've got that many dresses yeah. tells a story of its own, doesn't it? Yeah. Because we haven't bought dresses like. Not for ages. For a while, maybe the odd one here and there, but yeah. Maybe we'll have a sale on dresses. Yeah. Pretty 13. Um, it's a vintage Duchess bone china plate with a robin on it. It's a Christmas plate. This cost £1.11 and sold for £16.99 plus post in less than a month. All this bric-a-brac we're showing you, unless we say it's from a charity shop, it's from auction dog lots. Uh, okay, tops. Yep. Tea. Thomas. Thomas Pink Superfine Two-Fold Shirt in Blue Gingham. Yep. That cost $6.99 and sold for $31.99 and it's going GSP to America. And that sold in three months. That's from a charity shop. Tripod. Well, these just completely stopped selling, so I just did a sell similar. Cost nothing, sold for $5.49 plus post. And then the rest of the stuff we've got to show you is on the table. So first up, we have the Vintage Royal Dalton Rose Elegance Bowl. Bowls, sorry. These were in a job lot from auction, listed and sold within like 48 hours. They cost £4.3p and and sold for 19 99 Then we have It's Bananas. I uh, bought it with the intention of selling it on Amazon, uh, but it turns out I couldn't sell it on Amazon or the version was different or something or other. Uh, so I think it cost two pounds. Sold for sixteen ninety nine. Uh, did I not have an offer on that? Fourteen forty four. Then we've got the vintage Minton Marlowe tea set. This one. Yes, this was in the same job lot as those Rose Elegance bowls I just showed you. These cost four pound and three p, and sold for forty nine. Did it sell for forty nine ninety nine? Yes, it did within like two days, and um, that was a really good pickup. Mm. And then we've got this little tiny picture frame. I nearly wasn't going to list this, it's teeny tiny. It's a vintage antique oval picture frame, decorative domed cover, brass, and it cost 5p. Sold for 9 99 plus post within 48 hours. Another quick sale within 48 hours <laughs> yeah. was this tin. It's a musical biscuit tin, empty. It did have biscuits in it from Asda. Someone ate them and it ended up with us. <laughs> in an auction hall. In an auction hall. But that's fine because it cost 68p and sold for £5 plus post. Doesn't have a best before date. Within, yeah, 48 hours I said that, didn't I? Mm. Next up, we've got a round picture. This had loads of views. Take it out and show it. Loads of watches. Sold in less than five days. It's a vintage round gold framed oil painting of like a flower posy uh, with some kind of sort of wear and tear on it, but it kind of just adds to the charm. Mm. Uh, sort of cottagey vibes. Cost 54p, sold for 19 99 super quick. That was in a job lot from auction. 
Right, let's do our Etsy sale. Um, this is in Crate 9. Uh, I just stand here and I'm like, right, I'm, which way am I going to turn first? And The wrong way. Yeah, and is it going to be the right way? Crate 9, I can't remember what that one is. Oh, here it is. It's the Royal Worcester Holly Ribbon Storage Jar with Lid. It's quite big. No. This. <laughs> it's like looking straight at us. Yes. That cost £1.11 and sold within two months on Etsy for £49.99 plus postage to America. Great sale, yeah. if I do say so myself. <laughs> it's almost up there with Jason Reselling's epic Christmas plate sale. That was really epic. Right, next up on the other side, we have a Hush top. Hush, what colour? It's that, it's that, that multicoloured one. Look at the side of it. The £2 plus post. Whoa, we're rich. It cost 4 95 only had it um, four months, but it's just too <laughs> much. Only had it four months. It, but it's a small, and I can't be bothered. I really can't be bothered. Uh, okay, then we've got a fountain pen. Got all the big sales coming in today. Blue? Yeah, that's blue. That's blue, is it? That's blue. It's turquoise. That cost 20p. Sold for two ninety nine plus postage. And I that sent an offer. Sold in like three months. And then crate four. Yeah. It's a brown jug. Vintage pool, choicier jug. In chestnut brown, actually, if that helps. Have you got a lid? It's a jug, it's brown. Yay! Now, I was able to send an offer on this yesterday, but any offer that I was going to send was going to bring it below our sort of threshold for wanting to add plus post. Mm. So I quickly edited it, added postage, and then sent an offer for 8 99 and they bought it. It's a sneaky one, that, but it works. It cost a pound, and that has been listed for five months. In the intro, Faye mentioned an issue that's on eBay at the moment that is definitely going to be affecting sales. We know it's affecting us and we think it's most probably affecting most other sellers who are not aware of this. We haven't seen anyone else talking about this on YouTube. I haven't seen anyone talking about it on Instagram. Um, I'm sure there's discussions taking place around it. We've not seen them. However, we have been out of the loop a little bit. We've been heads down, quarter four, and all that business. So when we realized what the issue was, we quickly took action to correct it, and it made a huge difference to our sales. And we'll talk a little bit more in detail about that. So the issue itself is all around best offer and auctions. And it's that age old problem of buyers not paying the buyer sends an offer or you send an offer and they accept it and then they don't pay i mean what's the point of that <sighs> but the issue is understandable because i send offers and if i'm looking to send offers to multiple buyers i'm not you know i don't necessarily want five but i might send five different offers so it's not necessarily buyers that are just making offers and then they're just deciding not to pay but maybe they they've sent a number of offers they're not going to buy them all so ebay are now forcing buyers to enter payment details before before they send offers or before they place bids on auction. They're also forcing them to enter their payments when they accept offers. Okay, so that means that the payment details are there to try and actually finish the sale. Is that what you're saying? As it was, payment details didn't have to be set up on your eBay account to, to, to make an offer. Now, when you make an offer, you're asked to enter your payment details. As sellers, we want the whole process for our customers to be as easy and as simple as possible. We don't want to create friction or have them deal with friction that might be created by um, the platform, so eBay, for example. Barriers cause hesitation and hesitation causes abandoned checkouts and lower conversion rates. And what we do know about algorithms is algorithms do not like low conversion rates. So if you've got a product that gets lots of reviews but doesn't get bought, that is going to get shoved down the search very, very quickly. That's one of the reasons we don't like to give out a link to our eBay store. Yeah, basically what it's telling eBay is that everything we've got for sale is irrelevant to those people browsing. Uh, but we do we do share our shop, so if you want to look at our shop, 
just message us on Instagram, we happily share the link. Uh, but it's just algorithmic suicide. I might have just made up a phrase there. Ooh. I might have just, uh, algorithmic suicide, I'm, I'm having that. Is algorithmic even a word as well? Well, that's what I mean, who it's knows? It's a phrase, I'm going to get it in the Oxford Dictionary for sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's suicide to do that. So we don't do it, but we do share the link willingly, privately, so. Individually. There you go. So back to the issue in hand slightly moved over to our ebay shop there. <laughs> yeah. so what we don't want to do as sellers is discourage in any way people sending an offer and we don't want them to be discouraged when looking to send an offer so for years buyers have just been used to send an offer get an offer send an offer get an offer but now what's happening is they're being told hold on if you want to send that offer you've got to enter your payment details now what if it's not convenient to do that or what if you receive an offer from a seller and you want to accept that offer, but it wants your payment details. You know, you could be in a whole list of scenarios where it's just not convenient to do if you haven't done it before and those details aren't saved in. And this is this is a new thing from eBay, so there's going to be millions and millions of buyers that are affected by this, that are, for the first time, being asked for their payment details before sending an offer. They might be sending an offer, as I said earlier, they could be sending five offers to five different sellers for items that they're that they're interested in and of course they're not going to commit to buying all of those because what if all of those sellers so this issue is new and this will change in time but for buyers right now they're not used to this and we don't want buyers to be forced into having to enter their details to send us an offer ebay has set this up in your store without you knowing and we're going to tell you how to shut this down so that's exactly what we did and we saw a 46.4 uplift in send offer sales i measured that over six days after turning this off and stopping this from happening and it really got me a little bit annoyed because it just made me think of all the offers that we've probably missed out on we're not sure how long this has been activated on our account for we've been sending really strong offers uh, for quite a while now so we think it's going to be at least a couple of weeks and there was no announcement from ebay about this so i know what you're thinking because for years we've all been saying to ebay sort this non-payment business out and ebay have been listening and saying we're working on it we're working on it i think it's got to a point with them where they've just felt like they've got no choice like maybe they knew the code maybe they had the code they had it already and we're like just oh i'm not really too sure about this but i think it'd been going on for so long um i can understand it with auctions 100 percent. if you bid on an auction you should pay yeah like if you win that auction you should pay if you're bidding on an auction just like if you're bidding at an auction house i was gonna say an auction house or whatnot you, you're committed yeah you put your hand up you bid you're committed like just like you say but for best offer it's just not that simple so the non-payers they're still going to be around we 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 welcome we welcome non-payers. Like there's, there's, as we've said, there's lots and lots of reasons why someone might not pay. Their circumstances could change, or they might have sent offers on five different items. They don't want five. You know, this is what happens. It happens. But I tell you one thing: I would rather have a couple of non-payers a week. Yes. We don't have an issue with non-payers. We'll cancel on 96. Yeah. Uh, Realists on about 72 because if they're an international buyer and we can sort of work out the time difference. It's kind of realistic that if they haven't paid by 72, they're probably not gonna pay. For GSP buyers, you know, you know that when they made the offer, they didn't know what the calculated shipping by GSP was gonna be, the customs and the taxes. So, you know, you see it quite a lot. They'll make an offer for 20 pounds or something, and it's probably gonna cost them another 30 pounds to have it shipped. And they don't know that till they make the offer. So or well, they might not know that till they make the offer. So those ones you can kind of see coming. If they don't pay within the first couple of days, you know you're gonna end up canceling it after 96. Just on that point, we don't have automatic cancellation set up. We like to do that manually, uh, just because it's a bit more straightforward when you're cross-listing. Also, it gives you an opportunity, if something's sold a bit fast, gives you an opportunity to change the price. If you just if you just have it automatically relisting, you know, you don't get the opportunity. Or maybe uh, you realised you didn't have some detail in there that should have been in there or something like that. Um, and because while there's an open offer, you can't change that. So we like to sort of keep in control of that anyway. Right, so if you want to jump on board with this movement where you say, actually, do you know what? I've been crying out to eradicate non-payment, but now actually, <laughs> I think I'd quite like to keep it, <laughs> given everything that we've said. And I'm sure if you rattle this around, uh, you might come up with the same conclusion as us. 
So there's loads of ways to get to this particular setting, but if you go to help, and type buyer requirements and then scroll down a little bit and click on buyer requirements and then scroll down to buyer payment requirements and then untick the box that says require buyers to provide a payment method before they make an offer and you might also have the one for auction as well we don't have that and i think that's probably because maybe we didn't or don't have any auctions running we didn't have any auctions running when this kicked in I'm not really sure but i think you might also find that auction button if you don't want to force buyers to have to enter payment details when they make you an offer, untick that box. This is going to change over time. You know, we said earlier, this is, this is millions of buyers. And also, while you're on the page, you might just want to check your buyer requirements for blocking buyers who cause cancellation through unpayment. So we always had it set that if a buyer had two orders cancelled on them, within a month for non-payment, they wouldn't be able to bid or send offers or buy from you. I've actually changed that now because there's gonna be lots of buyers for the reasons that we've explained. Buyers who send multiple offers and they have to put in their payment details and they all get bought and they have to cancel them, all that sort of stuff. So I'm relaxing that at the moment and uh, I had it switched off actually, and now I've put it to someone has to do it five times in a month, which is, you know, that's quite a lot. But if you buy loads of stuff, it's probably not that much. You probably, you know, you could be placing a hundred orders and canceling five. Um, you know, it's only 5%, but you wouldn't be able to buy from us if you did that. So I'll probably turn it back off again, but it's worth you revisiting that. Did you know about this already? Is it something that you're going to look into as soon as you finish watching our video? Don't stop watching it yet. Please let us know your thoughts on this. We'd love to hear them. Comment on the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe at the same time. Shoot. Crate 17, sorry. <laughs> yes. It's the antique late 19th century Chinese Kangxi Rings Prunus Blossom Ginger Jar, <laughs> to be uh, precise. Yeah, has that got no lid, yeah? Correct. Cost 52p, sold for £20 within a week or so. Mm. And we have a top, yeah. um, J, J for J Browns, second J Browns of the week. We now have a... 25% off sale on all dresses. Oh good. Blue and white flowery. There it is. Huh? Yeah. This is this is this was a disappointing purchase. I mean it, it had Was it a disappointing purchase or a disappointing sale? Disappointing sale, I suppose. <laughs> I was optimistic about it because when I got it home I didn't realise it was brand new with tags and it is size 22. Wow. I uh, got it in July, so it's taken up to three months to sell. Cost six ninety nine, so sold for sixteen forty nine. It's like a tunic sort of smock shirty thing. Sad times. Yep. Then we've got shoes. Kids one. There they oh. are. The box of random. That's them. They're Timberland Boys summer walking shoes. They're sold in in less than two months. Cost two ninety nine, sold for fifteen. Then we've got uh, home. It's the OXO thing there on the corner. Random plastic pot. It's got OXO on the top. It's a vintage 1980s OXO cube clear plastic storage container. That cost 52p and sold for 9.99 plus post in less than a month. And that was in a job lot from auction. I wonder what you put in that. Now these shoes, by the way, are from a charity shop, as was this top. And this was a job lot from auction. Then over here, they are actually made by Filofax. They're sort of planners, refillable notebooks, but they're like faux leather. They're a bit weird. Anyway, they were in the job lot of notebooks that we got back in the summer. They cost £2 and sold for £29.99. Um, I've been, I fully disclosed the condition. So some have marks and... I just like chipped a little bit off the plastic on the door on the way out, <laughs> so... Oh man, rather you than me. Only a tiny bit, hopefully they don't notice or cut themselves. Yeah. Might have to go and get one of your nail files oh, and smooth great. that off. <laughs> sold in less than two weeks, cost two pounds, sold for 29.99. Then we've got a top. Moving over to the other site now, uh, D. It could be in dresses actually, but we'll check tops. It's sort of... <laughs> Big t-shirt. It's diesel. Yeah. And it's grey. Diesel t-shirt dress XL. Yes. That cost six pounds. I think I was in a drop lot of clothes we got ages ago. And that got listed in 
three months ago and sold for 22 well did it sell for 22.49 no it didn't sell for that much it sold for eight pounds because i wanted to get it gone it's gone and it just so happens i didn't purposely do it but this is the best one to show you this also sold on the other site uh, these are three vintage Beanie Babies, TY, as you can see on the label. They're Beatrix Potter. We've got uh, Peter Rabbit, Jemima Puddle Duck, and Pigling. I can't remember his name, Pigling thing. Pigling Pig. Something like that. And they sold for £29.99. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, I did tell you. Yeah, no, I wasn't listening. And they cost 15p. <sighs> and that was in that big bin liner full of plushes. The whole job lot from the auction, there was like five, there's like three or four tubs and a bag. It was like 20 quid, I think. So they paid for everything. Nice. This has finally sold. It's a GI Joe military missile, 10 inch battery operated, six wheel Jeep. Hmm. And that cost £2.50 in June 22. So <laughs> lit, like 18 months almost. Um, that sold eventually, well, it sold once and we can't remember what happened. Not it either cancelled got cancelled or not paid. Yeah, but it sold on Vintage for £5 plus post. One of the reasons that it didn't go quickly, well, one one of the reasons is one of these doesn't move, which is obviously declared, but um, yeah, it's put batteries in it and it... Doo -doo 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 -doo. This here is a Vintage purchase, which I then flipped on the site that won't be named. Um, it cost £5.69, sold for £10. <laughs> Uh, that sold plus post. plus post, obviously. That sold in two months. Uh, we've got these bowls here. These cost one pound forty three and listed and sold within a month for twenty two pound twenty two. The BHS Priory soup coops. Yeah. I didn't even know what a soup coop was till we started selling soup coops. And then we have two sales here from the big sort of job lot beanie baby bundle which i'm really happy about we've got these two they're ty jingling beanies this one's a holiday teddy and this is jingle pop both from 1998 but those two those two cost 15p and sold for 9.99 plus post and then we have this teeny tiny rust tiny town teddy bear so not a ty but in the same bundle i collectively call them the ty bundle this is russ tiny town teddy bear fully jointed he's only three and a half inches big that cost 15p and sold for 9.99 plus post and then we're also sending out this escalado uh it picked it up in a sort of house clearance someone was going and doing van life and they were clearing out their house and i can't remember what we paid um like probably two pounds i think it was two or three pounds but it was incomplete and by the time i realized that they'd gone <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like you know there was nothing untoward going on the lady was very nice she was just literally clearing her house out um but i put it on our facebook group which i will put on the screen now the spares and repairs one uh, someone asked what was missing there's a couple of bits missing i could have purchased those bits for just over £10 and I think this probably sells for somewhere between £30 and £40 but I just could not be bothered with all of that uh, so someone contacted me and made me an offer I don't know if they've got it to resell because they just sort of said they like the game and they can play it without the bit that's missing or whatever so uh, yeah that's going out to them you can go join that group and there's a file on there that I've put on there with a spreadsheet with all the barcodes for all the missing pieces so if you've got stuff that like board games that are missing pieces check that out and other people post pictures of things that they need or things that they've got i'm At waiting my instructions home <clears throat> it's the barry meter <laughs> the barry meter the little round one yes this Here's cost two pound 99 from a charity shop sold for 19.99 in less than a week then random tub yeah it's a tiny little vintage wapw silver pewter swan oh yeah we moved this the other day didn't we it was in one of these hmm. you can see it i think Oh no, that's the cotton. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fits in your hand. Told you it was small. 
You just banged your head on crate number six. six. Here we are. There we go. I hope it was worth it. This cost a pound in April, so six months that's taken to sell. It sold on offer for £7.49 plus post. That was in an auction, so a lot. I didn't buy that. Crate one. Yes. Uh, vintage Chinese ceramic ginger jar vase, blue and white with lid. Is it a pointy lid? Yeah, it's quite a big thing. There we go. That cost 54p and sold for 24.99 in less than a month that was in a job lot from auction then we've got home oh oh no random random oh. no i'm joking joking come over here we have a hammer cleaning disc one of these have we got any left two left yeah i've just taken them off amazon because they're only selling on ebay that was cost price of zilch because we just zeroed it down because we put the cost price into everything else we sold from the palette of Tripods. tripods and that sold for 5.49 plus post then we've got this little guy playing the piano this is a vintage muse pottery pianist grand piano player and that was listed yesterday and sold today for 9.99 plus post cost one pound 22 i didn't think it would sell that quick i guess maybe it was the perfect price yeah. and then this guy a this is out the beanie baby bundle he's not a beanie he is a velveteen teddy bear company and he is the union jack teddy bear we had two of these i don't know if we've sold the other one yet or not mm, um but he sold for 14.99 plus post and he cost 15p <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate it. Thanks for all your comments. Uh, please like the video, as Faith said. We have very few videos that make it over 100 likes. It's such a shame. So let's see if we can get this one to 100. We're sharing something that I think is really huge in this video. Um, and so we really would like to know if you've heard of this issue, if, you're, if you've had a think about it, if you plan on changing what you do off the back of what we've explained here, uh, or maybe we've got it all wrong and completely misunderstood. <laughs> your time i don't think we have uh, but please let us know as always i've been busy buying at auction uh, so i've got a great auction haul to show you um, in a video coming soon that's all from us for now take care and we'll see you soon bye for now bye